folks welcome back it's handmade by Shirley and it is day seven already of the gummy a pan advent calendar so I've not opened it yet um so let's see what's in this one. Ooh. Oh, it's an angel oh what are we gonna do with that hmm, let me have a think let me think. Right, so I'm not going to cut it on screen. I'm going to come back in a minute. I'll have cut it out and got some other bits and pieces together and we'll make something back in a minute. So I've come back and I've cut out two of the angels and they do cut out really nicely. Their arms kind of can bend up as well if you want them to do that and you can bend their wings back a bit as well which is quite nice so what I've thought I've got a base card of you know what was it five and five and a half I think let me see no five squared then I've got a nice piece of silver which is um four and three quarters squared and then I've got a piece of white linen again which is I think four squared so that's today's one which is an angel and thanks to everybody who has subscribed it's really brilliant I'm so absolutely delighted that you know you're here and I'm so glad that you've you're enjoying the videos I'm getting some lovely comments it's really nice so keep those coming and keep enjoying watching so what I thought I would do with these two pieces I'm trying to think I'm going to do this actually I think I would have to do it with all of the pieces so I don't know if so what I'll do is, I've got this punch, circular punch, two and a quarter circular punch. And what I'm thinking is, it's not going to go all the way to the middle, but if I can get it to punch through these two pieces, which I might be able to, I might not, though. no, it's not going to work. So I've got the, the sort of mark where it's going to punch now, so I can do these separately. So I'm going to punch, it's not very straight actually, is it? Punch that bit out, okay. Punch this piece out as well now. There we go. So these two should line up like that. And I'm just wondering if, if I pop them up on, yeah, I think I still need to mark where this would need to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pop these there and I'm going to get a pencil, which I should have in here. It's not really sharp, but. If I can just make a wee mark where I can kind of cut, that's fine because that'll be cut out. So it's a bit of a wobbly line, but it'll be that bit will be cut away, so you won't see that. So and just get into there. I might not be able to get right into that actually. It's maybe going to be strong. I can do it. No, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. No. Let me see. I didn't think about this, did I? <laughs> I thought I could cut a nice wee aperture out of there. But I might have to do it with a die cut. Not 
going to go in, is it? Not far. It's just not going to go in as far as that. It's only going to go to over there. Let's try it anyway, and if it doesn't work, we can do something else. So I'm just lining up as near as I can to that circle that I've drawn. There we go. And let's see what happens. So let's get my own folder. I've been painting today lots of different things. Um, I've been painting lots of MDF type things. Um, so I didn't have everything on the table that I needed. I think that's actually okay. It's a bit... I need to try and rub that out in there, but I think it's actually going to be okay once I pop that on. I'm not going to really see that, I can still... So, what I... that's fine, that's fine, that's what I'll do. So I'm just going to pop some glue on that I've got over here, this stuff here, if it'll come out. So, now let me think. Yeah, I can pop this bit on. So I'm going to pop this bit on first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the two angels together with a bit of um, thread down the middle. And then I'm going to um, put her dangling from the middle. Well, not quite dangling, but kind of dangling if you see what I mean so I've got that on now and then I can cover no I can cover it from inside because I'm going to do it from the inside so that's fine so let's get the angel oh, got a little bit of dribbling let's just pop this on here Excuse me. So, what I propose to do is I've got this little bit of thread. Well, it's a bit of twine. Um, it was in a kit of some description. And what I thought was I'd put the angel on there and she'll hopefully spin. So, let's just. So, but before we do that, what I want to do is, I want to give it a bit of colour. So, I've got some, I've got a gold pen, I know I've got silver, but it doesn't matter. I've got a gold pen, I suppose I could use silver as a halo. So I'm just going to go over with the silver metallic pen there, and the same here. And I'm just going to dot her wings with the silvery colour as well. I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to keep it quite white or white type um, thing. So, um, I could have coloured her wings in, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it, as I say, white and silver. And then we'll do that actually on the bottom as well for these little tiny embossed dots. I can just pop my pen tip into those as well. There we go. Just follow those down. I mean, there's a million and one things. People are going to make all different ones. Um, you know. So just. This is my design. So hopefully you'll enjoy it and like it. 
and I hope that I'm inspiring some of you to do some Christmas crafts and maybe get some of your things out and do some stuff. Right, so that's all really I'm going to do. And then now, it's my nails. My nails keep breaking. And I am, um, it's not, I don't need calcium or anything. I've got, I'm on calcium. I take calcium because I don't have dairy in my diet. So I don't understand. So I'm going to actually attach her from the halo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, um, let's see where's that other stick. I don't think I've got that out. Right, I'm just going to attach her with the normal glue that I would use normally. Just like that. And then I'm going to get this piece of thread and I was going to put it through the top, which I think I still will, but I'm just going to pop this wee one on top. And then if I can get it, get it just exactly on top, like that. So, just marry these up so they're exactly on top of one another. And then, didn't actually any glue on there. I was going to put that through the halo but I don't think I'll bother. So let's just pop a little bit of glue kind of in between there and hopefully it'll stick down. That's it. Got a little, got a little um, wipe here. I'll come up slightly and over because the camera is not particularly in view, I don't think. So I'm just trying to push that over a bit because it's a bit out of line there. And just squeeze these two bits together because I want it to be in the middle as much as I can. And then I'm going to cut. And let's just make sure that's more kind of into the middle. That's better. And I can still bend our wings back like that if I want to. You know, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to pop her in there. So I'm going to pop her on the back of here. So going to have to now I've got my other box of stuff no it's away over there so I'll be back in a minute so I've got my tape because as I say my tape was away over at the other side of the room so find the end and I'm not going to obviously take the back off of this I'm just going to Find that's kind of the middle of the, the uh, circle, I would say. Hopefully it'll spin. It might not spin, so knowing me, it would spin. <laughs> Just popping that on there. And then I'm just going to do that all the way up to the top, just so that that's firmly down in place. Like that. Oh. 
And then now we need to really pull that quite taut so that this will twirl round a bit. So I'll just keep it that way at the minute. So. <clears throat> so yeah if you pop on to a uh, facebook if you're social media if you follow you know you're on social media you can pop over to the gummy pan uk page and ask to join um because you'll see you would see all, all a lot of the designs and it's a fabulous group it really is a good group follow there's so many loads of people on it who do the gum they do the advent calendar but not necessarily as a video they just you know they they do their cards and they just still send a picture to so perhaps that's something you could think about for next year something to do like that perhaps just an idea you don't have to do it but <laughs> Just a wee idea, so I'm just going to chop the rest of that off, like so, try and get that very last bit out of there, and the same on the top, like that, so that was pretty easy to do, it's not that hard I don't think, do this card, I just want to put one more wee bit on this, very top bit up here because that will just keep the now before I pop it on so there you go it sort of twirls a bit but before I pop this on I've got some I found some well I didn't find them I got some foil um rub ons from tonic when I got the um Winter's Veil set. So I thought, what I thought was, instead of just popping it on like that, obviously I'm going to pop it on um, foam pad, which is over there as well, but <laughs> we'll get it. Um, I've got these these sort of nice different snowflake rub-ons. So I thought I might just add them just as something else. So I'm not sure what one yet. Um, so what I could do, so to use these you just cut the bits, the ones out that you want and then I'll show you how to rub, rub them on after that. So, um, what will I go for? These ones are nice, but I'm not sure what they would look like. Because I could cut a few and have some down that side so let's just cut across to there I think that's probably enough and I could have a few down that side I think we'll see how we go so before I do that I want to just nip over to this table that's beside me tape so that I can pop that on but I want to do this first because obviously I'm not going to be able to do it when it's on foam pads so to do this what you do is you, you take this sheet off and um, you pop this wherever you want it to go if I wanted it slightly off I could and just have it there and then all I did was, I know it tells you to, I think you can use a ball tool. I mean, I do have a ball tool, but I found actually just doing it with my finger worked as well. So I'm just going to do it with my finger and hope for the best. Hope that it, it does just go on 
without me using a tool. You can use like a lollipop stick or something, but I didn't feel I needed to do that. I've got this ball tool, so maybe I should just use that in case it doesn't work out. I wouldn't want to spoil it too much. So just going round in circular motions. Let's just have a wee look and see if that's come out nicely or not. Oh yes, it has. There we go, that's fab. And it's got a bit of a twinkle. And we've got our angel. So we're going to pop our angel now on with this tape. Just get some scissors and I'll pop her on with some foam tape. Pop a bit there as well because we need a piece there. Just and that's just on there and no more, I think. Might just, I think I've popped it down now, it's too late to remove it. <laughs> thought I had just got it a bit too near that side, but I think we're okay. Pop that there. Pop that off. There. Pop a piece here. That little bit in there, and this bit here, and I think that'll be enough. And we'll get this popped on. I'll not, I'll not dazzle you just now, so uh, just take this off. Um, and I don't really have a seeing. Uh, greeting that I can see but um, when I pop it on social media I'll pop a greeting onto it and then um, that'll be it completed but as I say I don't have anything on the desk at this minute to just pop onto it just now so um, so I'll put all the links for my social media I'll also put buy me a coffee if you're interested in doing that, helping me to continue my YouTube channel. And if I give do any giveaways or I give, you know, cards away or other giveaways, it just helps me with some of the postage and stuff like that. So that would be greatly received as well. So let's see. Let's just pop this, hover this over. Hoping by the hole that this is going to be kind of in the right place. And I think we've made it. And it does, when you open it, it does spin around. So, that is my card number seven from Gummy Pan Advent Calendar. So, thanks so much for watching. And please let me know what you thought of this particular video. Um, please look at the other people's videos as well. That's Chris Stokes and Deb Hallett that I know of that are doing it. Um, there could be some other people, I'm not sure. 
But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for day eight. Bye.